the vibe around what we've been doing is so positive and the guys are so much more confident in what we're doing. Um, the leadership, the maturity, I think just the whole mentality of how guys have approached what we're doing is so much more uh, clear. And, you know, I just think that a year ago, you're trying to figure each other out. You're trying to feel them out. They're trying to feel you out. And, you know, there's just a lot of uncertainty there. And um, the first 20 some days have been uh, really good. It's just been a really smooth ride. You know, we show up every day and it has not been like pulling teeth to get these guys to practice hard. And I think they're excited to play. And, you know, a lot of guys know what's at stake here to try to shift things around. And they're really excited to do that. What has stood out on the football field that has been clearly a step up and, and better yeah. than a year ago this time? Yeah, I think the, the competition uh, amongst just the personnel and you know, we brought in 43 freshmen that we felt really good about, and uh, I think they have brought a really good weight to just the competitive vibe of everybody. And they pushed the older guys. Um, they fought for starting jobs. Uh, you know, we've got anywhere from probably seven to 12 guys that are going to be out there probably Thursday night and contribute and, um, you know, and, and have been really good, you know, and have been locked in. And, um, you know, I think even back, when we signed them in February, you know, we, we knew that this was good, probably going to be the case. We're going to have to rely on a lot of young players and they've, they've really stepped up and been able to be worth what they were, you know, what we thought they were back in February. And so uh, they're going to be good for us. And, you know, there's going to be some uh, struggles, you know, early on just with some young guys, but they've really taken everything to another level to push everybody. And I think that's the biggest thing is, uh, guys have been competing uh, at a level that is much different than a year ago. What are you expecting from those guys Thursday? I, I, it's a, a quick start Thursday night game, which you, you know you won't be used to sure. the rest of this year. But what do you want to see from them week one? Yeah, uh, I think you know if they can go out and line up and just play with some confidence, uh, that'll be great, right? I mean, from the young guys, and then I would say just from the team in general. I mean. We want to see just a competitive uh, spirit on the field and, you know, making sure that we're going out there. I think a year ago we went to Duluth. Um, I think the team was ready. I don't think they really knew what they were capable of doing or not doing. And, you know, we go through four quarters and it was kind of like, OK, we kind of are starting to feel what we're going to be capable of doing or not doing. And um, we kind of understood what our struggles were going to be. and. Uh, it kind of continued throughout the year and you know we were so thin last year that it just it was hard to really ever get caught up to speed and to get guys in the right spots and I think this year we, we just have a deeper roster we have uh, guys that can challenge each other and I just expect a, a much more competitive vibe out there on the field. Often had little action last year before he got <coughs> banged up. Horde had some more action last year and Love is your returning wide receiver I guess Talk about your offense and what you're expecting out of some of these guys. And we talked about being a young team, but with all the turnover from a year ago going into this year. Sure. No, I think um, there's been some leadership voices that have guided each other throughout this whole thing. And we've got a 18 man leadership council that we meet uh, weekly and they've really taken the bull by the horns with just trying to help each other out. And that's not only just with the young guys, it's, keeping each other accountable and just, you know, trying to buy into what the team needs, right? And I think it starts there. And so when you talk about the guys that are returning, I think they can draw on the experience that they've had. And, you know, it's a good thing. Uh, the three guys you just mentioned, I mean, Aiden Horde has actually really stepped up this fall and, and really in the last, I'd say, seven to 10 days has separated himself in a category that is showing that he's going to be very, very capable to lead our offense and do a great job. Uh, Noah Hoffman should be very, very capable. He showed some great flashes, uh, especially towards the end of the season last year. And then Sam Pfeiffer, we're, you know, we're expecting a big year out of him as well. And so um, there's other guys out there. I think the old line has some guys that are going to be uh, really, really good for us with Michael Neff and Daniel Babcock and Chris Bornhoff, you know, some of those guys up front that are going to be returning that. Um, I think they're just so much more aggressive, so much more determined to just be better this year. And, um, you know, I expect a lot of good production out of those guys for sure. 
was Horde getting the start on Thursday? Horde will get the start Thursday night, yep. What do you think he learned last year about when he got in? <clears throat> yep. Um, I think the game is fast, right? And you go from high school to co college and you're a brand new freshman. Like a year ago, he's, you know, probably, you know, not facing the same people that he did when he's thrown out there, you know, the first time he got experience. And so I think the game has slowed down for him a little bit. He's able to uh, process quicker, but yet the game is a little bit slower. I think that's what happens as you grow and get older. And so I think he understands um, you know, just kind of some of the things to look for and to anticipate. Uh, he's a really smart kid. He's somebody who wants to get it right. He's going to work his tail off. And, you know, he's got a lot of great intangibles. And so if he can continue to keep those going, it's really going to help his production for sure. Do you open up the playbook a little bit more in game one this year? Um, I think we're capable of doing that. You know, I think game one is always uh, that game where, to me, you try to keep it as simple as possible. You, you don't want to go into game one and beat yourself with mistakes and try to uh, do something that you really shouldn't have been doing. You want to try to stay uh, true to who you want to be and, and stay within your identity. And, um, you know, especially with some young kids, we want to make sure that we're staying as simple as we can to get them confident and to feel good here. And, you know, I think a little bit of it is too, is you got to feel out the game and you got to feel out the flow of the game. And, you know, if we're, if we're able to, you know, have some success, I think you can feel better about kind of giving those guys more as the game progresses. And so um, it's kind of a both and, you know, you want to keep it simple and yet, as the game progresses, you want to be able to, you know, breathe confidence into them and show them that you want to believe in them too and give them some more on their plate. And so uh, offensively, I think, you know, we've got a chance to be able to do some things uh, and, you know, be creative at times. And yet, you know, we want to stay as simple as we can too to just be effective. On the other side, you're going up against a really good offense. Mm -hmm. Youth defensively, talk about what you're trying to accomplish yeah. early on in the season. Yeah, I think um, defensively, we've been so much more aggressive uh, in the way that we play. And I think guys are just so much more confident with where they need to be, knowing their job responsibilities. Um, you know, I think with the guys coming back, there's a lot of experience on defense, actually. And, you know, to be quite honest, for most of fall camp, the defense has uh, been better than the offense, you know, in terms of competing against each other every day. They kind of won a lot of the competition points. and. Um, you know, I don't know that that's uncommon, but I do know that the defense, they, they were very relentless, very tenacious, very intense, and they brought that every day, and I'm expecting them to play that way this season. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Say one more thing. Yeah. Did you find a kicker yet, seeing that I was at the bad day of practice for the kicker? <laughs> uh, we, we have a kicker. Uh, Mike Carlin is returning, and, you know, he should be able to be sufficient for us. Um, I think the day you were there was kind of windy and, you know, what whatnot. But, um, yeah, I think those – him, Owen Halverson will, will also be with him, and those two – they have experience to draw on from last year, and I expect them to be much better this year. And um, I feel good about them. I feel very confident that they can get the job done, and um, we'll go into this first game to see what they're capable of doing. Last thing, Shane. Yeah. Does, it, does it help you guys going into the season having the bar pretty low? That, you know, you can, you can go up, and do you, do you express that to the team that, you know, you can just get better every day? Sure. No, I think um, – I guess it depends on what your expectations are, right? And I think – for us, a major goal for us is we want to experience or, you know, produce competitive excellence every time that we're out there. And so to match that up to what we did last year, there's nowhere to go but up, right? And it's what you're saying, you know, there's a definite opportunity that we get to do that. And I think going along with that is people don't expect much out of us. And I think that's a great play on our team. And um, we should be ch playing with a chip on our shoulder, and we are going to, and I think our guys know that. And I think it's great. You know, They're not being over-emotional about it, but I think they understand that not many people really respect us, and we haven't really gained that respect from anybody. And so we've got to go out there and prove and fight and earn for everything that we get.